Hello and welcome to Ducascopy TV. Today I'm joined in the studio by Dr. Alexander Andriani to discuss his work in quantitative investment research. Welcome, Dr. Andriani. Nice to be here. No problem. So first of all, can you tell me a little bit about your work in quantitative investment research? So I have been uh, managing uh, uh, my company uh, uh, since the beginning of the year uh, in quantitative investment research. We develop and implement a, a quantitative investment program to launch dedicated single managers hedge funds uh, in a seed investment concept. Okay, yes. so that's why we uh, we start our program from scratch. We launch dedicated uh, platform and automated platform based on our strategies, and we uh, go to find investors to seed our investment programs. What are your top tips that you can give investors to gain maximum return on investment in quantitative funds? Mm. There is um, um, uh, three aspects to take into consideration for uh, this kind of, uh, of, uh, of information. Uh, the first one is that a quantitative investment programs applied systematic rules and procedures uh, that are coded into a proprietary platform. Okay? Uh, beside this, uh, this uh, uh, let's say, construction and implementation of the program, what is really important is uh, to mitigate the probability of unfavorable uh, market conditions and, 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 and events to, enhan to enhance the stability of the program. So we really have to focus on those aspects to consider if the model is uh, attractive for our investors or not. And what are the main problems investors face at the moment, do you believe? I believe investors um, are facing uh, a lot of problems with respect to the frequency of uh, their investment operations. So if we take it for example, hedge funds, uh, people that are working with quantitative investment programs in a high or low frequency mode uh, makes have difficulties in terms of returns. Uh, what we could observe is that in an intraday space, uh, if we look at the average true range uh, five days, uh, with respect to, to the, the evolution of the ATR uh, during the last quarter of last year, we realize a drop in terms of volatility which could cause some problem for the models. How is the Eurozone affecting your company right now? I believe we are in a very challenging uh, environment where you need to be very specialized in what you are doing in terms of, uh, uh, of quantitative investment programs. Okay? Uh, if you do not have uh, a very niche product which offer diversification to the existing portfolios of your clients, you do not offer the correlation to this kind of portfolios. So that's why we, we really need to, uh, to single out uh, the features of the program uh, which can add value for uh, our investors. Great, thank you. And can you tell me a little bit more about the programs you offer? Our program is uh, an intraday managed future program which is based on pattern recognition algorithm. The problem holds position from a few minutes to a few hours and cover equities, bonds and forex. Okay? The platform that has been implemented is completely automated and uh, we can have an overview on how we uh, construct our trader automatum from the market data feed to the generation of the decision of the program. Okay, so this is this is uh, just uh, an overview on how we uh, construct and implement our automated platform, which is combined with pattern recognition genes and trading uh, procedure genes to arrive to market decision 
and to the full execution of the program. And this is an overview on how we uh, uh, divide and identify the different models of the program. So we have three models. We have the trader automata models. We have the basket strategies that monitor thousands of, uh, of trader automata. Uh, so uh, from, uh, from the incoming market data minutes, okay? Uh, and then we have the portfolio management that handle the risk management procedures and the execution of uh, all the trades. Thank you, Dr. Andriani, for joining us today. Thank you. That's all we have time for right now. But stay tuned to Dukascopy TV because I'll be back tomorrow to look at the trade war between the U.S. and China. But goodbye for now.